Good morning to all those watching from Zion Episcopal Church and elsewhere. This is Morning Prayer Right Moment for Saturday, July 27th, the Saturday in the ninth week after Pentecost. We will be beginning on page 37 of the Book of Common Prayer. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 55, which can be found starting on page 660. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is the people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Hear my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my petition. Listen to me and answer me. I have no peace because of my cares. I am shaken by the noise of the enemy and by the pressure of the wicked, for they have cast an evil spell upon me and are set against me in fury. My heart quakes within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come over me, and horror overwhelms me. And I said, oh, that I had wings like a dove. I will fly away and be at rest. I'd flee to a far off place and make my lodging in the wilderness. I would hasten to escape from the stormy wind and tempest. Swallow them up, O Lord, confound their speech, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night the watchmen make their rounds upon her walls, but trouble and misery are in the midst of her. There is corruption in her heart. Her streets are never free of oppression and deceit. For had it been an adversary who taunted me, then I could have borne it. Or had it been an, an enemy who vaunted himself against me, then I could have hidden from him. But it was you, a man after my own heart, my companion, my own familiar friend. We took sweet counsel together and walked with the throng in the house of God. Let death come upon them suddenly. Let them go down alive to the grave, for wickedness is in their dwellings, in their very midst. But I will call upon God, and the Lord will deliver me. In the evening, in the morning, noonday, I will complain and lament, and he will hear my voice. He will bring me back safely from the battle waged against me, for there are many who fight me. God, who was enthroned of all old, will hear me and bring them down. They never change. They do not fear God. My companion stretched forth his hand against his comrade. He has broken his covenant. His speech is softer than butter, but war is in his heart. His words are smoother than oil, but they are drawn swords. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you, and he will never let the righteous stumble, for you will bring the bloodthirsty and deceitful down to the pit of destruction, O God. They shall not live out half their days, but I will put my trust in you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A lesson from the Epistle of St. Paul to the Romans. The 15th chapter, beginning with the 25th verse. At present, however, I am going to Jerusalem in a ministry to the saints. For Macedonia and Achaia have been pleased to share their resources with the poor among the saints at Jerusalem. They are pleased to do this, and indeed they owe it to them. For if the Gentiles have come to share in their spiritual blessings, they ought also to be of service to them in material things. So when I have completed this and have delivered to them what has been collected, I will set out by way of you to Spain. And I know that when I come to you, I will come in the fullness of the blessing of Christ. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit to join me in earnest prayer to God on my behalf, that I may be rescued from the unbelievers in Judea and that my ministry to Jerusalem may be acceptable to the saints, so that by God's will, I may come to you with joy and be released, refreshed in your company. The God of peace be with all of you. Amen. 
your end of the lesson. Bless the people of the Lord, God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies, and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath, which he sware to our forefather Abraham, that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him, all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and stood on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. And day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever, world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted, let me never be confounded. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, who knowest our necessities before we ask and our ignorance in asking. Have compassion, we beseech thee, upon our infirmities, and those things which for our unworthiness we dare not, and for our blindness we cannot ask. Mercifully give us the worthiness of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world didst rest from all thy works, and sanctify a day of rest for all thy creatures, grant that we, putting away our earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of thy sanctuary and that a rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to thy people in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who didst stretch out thine arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of thy saving embrace. So close thy spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know thee to the knowledge and love of thee, for the honor of thy name. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen.